This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. I'll tell you this, man. I've been. I went to. I was in San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio. People came out in force. Hotel Emma. Hotel Emma, amazing. The best in all the land. Yeah. And then I was. The well was 105 degrees. I went for a walk. The birds. Even the birds weren't flying. And people are walking their dogs in that heat, and the dogs were like, "I'm gonna." F they looked like they were drunk. They Every burned dog. Paul's. I saw a dog. The dogs weren't even looking at each other. You know, they look at each other, try to get at each other. They were like, "I'm not even gonna." They're they were frantic. Just, they were just trying to walk pee and get out it was like you might not want a husky in texas it's tough it's tough right so i'm looking meanwhile i'm like this is the hottest i've ever been then i go out to my boy jt's house he's got this crazy compound 70 miles outside of austin too far right yeah but it was actually only 30 minutes away from is where i was staying hotel emma and uh he's got this crazy compound he's black rifle coffee a founder and i was in i was out at the well i was out at the in the in the pool outside and then i had one drink i came back and i took a nap well i took a three-hour nap i was you're getting older getting older but it was like i it took all my energy out of the naps day. trigger meanwhile, me. Naps meanwhile trigger me. they trigger you a little bit you don't like that i'm nap it's a sign of weakness hold on <laughs> hold on hold on my dad hasn't Sh seen his grandkids on. in six months he takes three naps when he's there no no you got it triggers me. you can shut Keep you can going. shut it down for 20 minutes trigger usually it's a 20 minute trigger and you live longer. You're gonna leave the you group and go. I'm just gonna go take a nap for about two minutes. You're sheep. It, it, it's, you don't like the people nap and and brush their teeth at night. Nope. <laughs> Signs of weakness. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. I respect it. I'm I respect gonna die it. early. No, no, I get it. With I, these, I get it. With these, morals. but I do understand where you're at because I I I resent that I take a nap. I, when I have to shut it down, I go, man. In the long march, I'm not making it. So I understand it. I get it. Meanwhile, I have to take the longest nap I've ever taken because I can't do anything. Everybody's well, the ladies weather? and gentlemen. I'm I'm out here in the I'm out here in Calabasas. It's 100, 105. It's a hundred at least 105. It might be 110 out That's there. That's why right when now. when I go, it's just as hot as Texas. We've talked about moving to Texas. You're like, dude, it's hot out there. I'm like, hey, Bubba. Yeah, it's 105 where I live in the valley. Yeah, it's I mean during during it's the a, you can fry June, an egg on the pan. Well, really, July. You want a steak? You don't July, need to grill. Leave the steak out for five minutes. Yeah. It'll, it'll come back medium. July, August. It, it's a usually if it's not a hundred, that, that's rare. It's a, it's hundos it, out here. It's, hun it's so it's your, hundos. your hot weather does not scare me. It's Daddy. in the hundos. Here is the one caveat. White people. It's a little. <laughs> no. I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> no, man. Don't. Don't steer it to a racist area. I'm not, dude. I don't hear a crowd and stuff. I'm no, just trying to. No, no, I want in. I want in. No, crowd, I want in. I don't no, know. No, is that what you guys do? No. I was going to say. The it's one super, thing about being Cal Bass is white people. No, no, no. I was going to say it's super. It's rich. No, I was going to say it's Privileged. super. It's super humid. Oh. Now, speaking of being racist. Oh, wow. I didn't. Oh, wow. Speaking of being it's racist. It's not that humid out here. By the way, that's triggering too. When we've talked about the weather already too long. That's already triggering. <laughs> That's another thing triggering. Now, and I, I haven't talked to my dad in weeks, and he goes, I can tell when we've ran out of things to say, I go, Oh, yeah. And then he'll, he'll, he'll do, the God bless him, he'll try and relate to me, go, Yeah. Uh, the hell, how's Chuck Liddell doing? What? <laughs> he, uh, he's doing good. I'm like, Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, uh, I'll talk, text him maybe once every six months, but he seems to be good. Uh, yeah. And then he'll go, Right, right, right. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it is gorgeous out. You know, your stepmom made this casserole. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run right now. Gotta take a nap, gotta take a nap right now. You know, I'm dead now. I'm gonna take a nap. I have to take a nap now because all the energy you're right now. There are people that can be energy vampires. The minute my mother starts telling me about what I should have done or starts warning me about a, a potential danger, I, I don't like that I either. immediately have to take a nap. You know what? I thought of your mom yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, th I was like, oh, this is what Callan's mom did to him. The Callan's all weird. My, uh, yeah, it's all weird. I was at, I took my son to Mario land at universal Yeah, and you know, to get down. So there's top of universal where they have like all, you know, uh, Harry Potter land, Simpsons land. Then you got to go down three escalators and they're I'm, a mile long. It, you got to go deep, deep three times to get down to Mario land and T-Rex and the mummy ride. And that's why we went there. But we're going back up the escalator, and Tiger's messing around. He's putting his fingers, and he's putting his shoes on. And, like, and we're way up. I'm like, dude, you fall off, dude. You're dead. 
He's like, Dad. I'm like, yeah, dude. You roll down these steel steps, it's game over. I can't help you, buddy. And I go, I've seen it a thousand times. Kids put their thing in, they get caught in the wheel, and it just turns <gasps> to pieces. Jesus Christ. And he's I, like, I, I, oh, it did not phase him. He's like, yeah, whatever. He yeah. knew I was full of shit. But, and I was like, I'm not going to keep telling you, dude. You got to be worried about it. Because if you have a scarf, or you have a you get pulled under I know. and he's like what's a scarf and I and I, as it's coming out of my mouth I go this is what Collins you're creating you. neurosis I was like this is what yeah you're I was creating like, neurosis and I go you know what do what, the, do what you want but you know what it, like I it, loose clothing is like it's it's, it's the it's the problem. it's problem and when you have kids it's 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 unbearable to think about so I have to say it because if I don't say it and I thought it you know, it's like, I don't want loose clothing around machinery. Is that terrible? I mean, it that, ha that, that, has it happened? That's what, yeah, I, has it happened? Somewhere it has. has now, it did happened? I say it happens every day? Has a school bus closed its doors and, and a backpack gets caught? It's on YouTube right now. And the kid gets, dre yes. So we know this. The odds of it happening, not good. But if it happened to you and you're the one that didn't warn the kid about it, heavy conscience. It's also. That's why I wear skinny jeans. I know baggies in. Yep. But I'm, yep. it's for safety. It's also unacceptable that it happens. It's unacceptable. So that's. I'll tell you right now, and listen, Universal, I love you. Mario Land, overrated. Yeah. Overrated. You know, my overrated. son was like, uh. Really? I mean, the whole setup's what's cool. The, what's the ride that got him the most crunk? He loves the mummy. It's intense. It's fast. Yeah. Makes yeah. him a little scared. Yeah. He likes Simpsons. They don't have a ton of rides for kids. They have the Backlot Tour, which we passed on. They have Waterworld. Hey, bitch, it's 2023. Waterworld, Kevin Costner. <laughs> A water world. Yeah, my son was like, what <laughs> is this? I was like, we're going to leave. That's what this is. Wow, water world. They have water world. Marland has one ride. It's entire land with one ride. They have like some little games you can play, but one ride. Um, there's Transformers, which is lit, a little outdated. Simpsons ride's legit as hell. Then the mummy's uh, legit. But also the mummy with Brendan Fraser? Can we update the I rides? Know, I know. Great. Water world. So you got mummy, water world, was water world Transformers. Mummy, Waterworld, Transformers, Mario, which is old as hell too. Waterworld. Well, you know what took me out of the movie Waterworld? Besides everything, Kevin Costner had gills. When Kevin Costner said, "I've sailed farther than most men have dreamed," I was like, oh, "I don't like that line." You remember that movie? Kind of, it was so. Remember the 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 hype around it? And yeah. this is before social media articles. Yeah, yeah. It was so expensive to make. Yes. Where'd they shoot? Why? That? Where'd they shoot Waterworld? The Universal lot, dude, in the little pond there. Plus around 100 million dollars in theaters. Wow. And this was 100 million. It soon grew to 135, 175. Wow. Yeah, it didn't do so well. I think it got their money back eventually. Well, yeah, if it costs 100 mil, well, 100 mil to make, 175 by Tim. Fine. Well, that's what it costs. Oh, grew to 175. How much did it make in the box office, Jen? Budget 175 mil. So that's the budget. One. Oh, keep going down. I know. Go down though. Box office 264 million. They made their money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But remember that was all the hype back in the day. As a I kid, do. it's like, eh. Yep. I like oh, I gills though, man. I wanted gills. Dennis Hopper was in it. Oh, I ran into. Oh, I, there it is. Filling two ways. A large artificial seawater enclosure similar to that I've used in the film Titanic two years later. I was looking at the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Hawaii. Uh huh. Waipo, Waipio Valley on the Big Island. Prayers. Oh, there it is. Film on the universe yep. a lot in the little pond. Wow, my exact language. <laughs> Prayers cool. to Hawaii. Prayers too. to Hawaii, yeah, right now. They're going through those fires. Max yeah. Holloway. Yeah, Max Holloway, heavy heart. You see Max Holloway destroy Chin's Lord and Savior? <laughs> yeah. That was unbelievable, man. Damn. Yeah. But what a send off for Korean Zombie. What a send off for yeah. Zombie. 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 That was pretty you're, cool. You're, you're a little too intense with it. What did he say? What did he say? Uh, what was he saying when he. In Korean, it's pretty cool. They had a translator though too. Though, right? <laughs> Ultimately, say like he wanted to be champion. He he knows he can't be yeah. champion right now. So it's like it's time for him to fought like, for yeah, the belt twice though. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, first of all, people had some crazy fights. People don't understand. Yeah, crazy. Hamnik, all that, those fights. The Leonard Garcia twister. Oh. But people don't understand. You know the chance of you a just getting the UFC nutsos. Yeah. B getting into the top twenty nutsos. Get in the top five. In, you're an insane, outlier. Insane, insane. Getting a title shot, less than 1%. Correct. Winning a title, less than 0.1%. Correct, correct. So what Zombie did is... I mean... But it's tough. When you, when you get to that level, like, if you ask anybody, like, why are you here? It's world champion. Of course. So I think he'll get perspective once he's retired. It took me years before you feel like a failure, whether it's football, whether it's UFC. Years once you can remove yourself from it, like, oh, that was dope. I did some cool stuff. Yeah. So I'm Korean Zombie, I get there. 
Oh. And if not, I'm sure. If I saw it, like that, him. that man is a man of, to to give respect in every every category. Man. I don't know anybody who doesn't like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, all the no, fighters, all the fans. We talk trash about. Oh my god, he's, he's awesome. beloved. He's Max awesome. Holloway too. I don't know anybody who doesn't. Yeah, they're love both. Max that's Holloway. why that that fight was so amazing. Somebody who gives that much to the sport and who's that been you that good for it, so man. long. <laughs> Right, Chin? <laughs> yeah, I gotta check. I was breaking it. down Shop Show and Chin got real gay. <laughs> I got it, yeah. Because he, he goes, You gotta cherish these moments, man. I went, I went like this. I, went, I cherish Crin Zombie and, and Max Holloway, the fights no, that they gave to, us. You have to cherish now, yeah, Chin yeah. got gay in the group text with the Thick Boy crew. <laughs> there, there's, but you know what? Chin, yeah. Chin was camping with another man, drinking at 7 a.m. One of my best friends, man. I know. Yeah, just I'm, It is what it is. You guys went camping? Yeah. You and your best yeah, friend? Best friend. At we caught fish too, yeah. Did you guys sleep in one tent? Pretty awesome. Two, two tents, man. Bullshit. I'd say, I'd say one tent. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. I don't think anything gay tents. about one tent, dude. I do think it's gay, but that's no, okay. You, if you and me had a, uh, went camping, you think we're getting our own tent? Good night. Yeah, that'd be fun, <laughs> dude. My tent's so big, I have a, I have a divider hey, if I want ooh, it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I have a divider if I want it. That's it. I have an eight-person tent for myself. And did you, you still don't let your buddy Nah, he has a small little tent. Did he sleep on you or did in you? Um, no. There are certain gay words like cherish is gay, flabberg. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. That's a gay word. I like flabbergasted. Reminds me like the the old timey. But it's a little gay. Like I was absolutely flabbergasted. You don't hear that a lot. This is another gay word for bamboozled. A gay. I, that's gay. <laughs> It, it, uh, I was delighted. I was delighted. Delight. See, I like all the words you're spitting <laughs> and I, out. And to. how about this? It was a lovely time. It's you, a you little know, gay. You, you know what? That you're a Southern Belle, dude. I'm rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> That would get you going and camping. If you go, if, Brian, like this, if you get, you said Brian came in the room and he, uh, I was just bamboozled. Doing, <laughs> and so we're we're sharing a tent, and I'm like, this is lovely. Oh, and this is just delightful. And I, I've been flabbergasted by this scenery because I thought at first we were being bamboozled when Chin told us <laughs> that we should be here. I thought we were being. Oh, bamboozled. I wish you talked like that, dude. Yeah, I oh, fuck you. You start talking that vocabulary? You know, I'm turning on my vocabulary. Then if I saw your dick and I went, whoa, I am frightened. <laughs> frightened is also gay. Like, that's a gay Frightened's word. a little tough. I got frightened. There's certain words. To be honest, words. I, it frightened me. You don't hear a lot of guys, guys talking no, like that. It scared me. Uh, you know, I got, I got duped. Hey, maybe but, it's just because I have a bad vo vocabulary, but having a good vocabulary, is that gay? It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, like if your vocabulary is too good, are your bros gonna be like, "Hey, man, take it down a notch"? Yeah, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm educated. Yeah, like I've had friends who do that. It's just obsequious at the end. Of the Have day. you ever it's tried like, to obsequious? Oh my could god! Could you get a better? What word? a power word, though. Yeah, I know. But I tried uh, increasing my vocabulary. A, you do it just from reading naturally. But I signed up for this thing where it's like word of the day. The problem is when you have CT, you don't remember that word ever. <laughs> you don't remember So it's that a real mix-up. Yeah. Boner's not used enough. Boner's a great word. Boner's falling to the wayside. It has, but why? Bro, kids that don't gives use me it. a fucking boner. Like if you have- it I used it with my kids the other day. T Tiger woke up, or my, my the littlest one, Bossy, woke up. And you know, he just mourned him wood. And he goes, Daddy, my, my penis hurts. I'm like, what's- And I take his diaper off. He's still sleeping. So I take his diaper I'm like, no, you got a boner, dude. Tiger's all boner. He's laughing. I'm like, you never heard boner before? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, dude, you guys got to start using that school. I, I had a girl tell me that I gave her a heart boner. And I was like. <laughs> that makes me sick. I know. I was like. <laughs> you make my heart rock she made, hard. She, you gave me a heart boner. I was like, whoa. Let's Ready? take a little break. Can we take a Can break? Because B, college football is here. My CU buffs take on TCU this Saturday. Ooh, TCU. Oh, dude. You know me in college football. I'm a fanatic. You can are, I make man. money watching it? Yep, you can bet on my buffs. They're they're big dogs. They're big big underdogs in the TCU. Mm. But the buffs have Deion Sanders. So bet on my buffs. You got Alabama playing Oklahoma. You got freaking uh, Thursday night. I think you got Clemson. But either way, it kicks off Thursday. You got Friday games. You got big day Saturday. It's more fun when you're in on the action. Oh, nothing better. Make bank while watching your favorite teams with DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking you guys up with a can't-miss offer to start the season. This week, new customers can bet just $5 on college football and score $200 in bonus bets instantly. Anything can happen in college football. Your team can go from on rank to dynasty mode in just a couple of years, hopefully a couple of weeks if you're a CU Buffs fan. Change comes fast. The only thing that's locked is the great offers from DraftKings Sportsbook. Life's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use code FIGHTER. New customers can score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on college football. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code FIGHTER. That's 
The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLING or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please pay, play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort KS, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario, ccdkng.com.co slash football for eligible terms and responsible gaming resources bonus bets expire seven days after issuance eligibility and deposit restrictions apply DraftKings promo code fighter go buffs talk to me about hello fresh brendan please talk oh to me my about god HelloFresh. fall is right around the corner and hello fresh is here to help you plan for your busy season ahead mm, kids are back at school well guess what you don't have a ton of time let our friends at hello fresh help you out tasty dishes delivered right to your door simply choose your recipes pick your delivery date then lay back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered. It's pre-portioned ingredients right to your home, so whipping up a homemade meal is a cinch. The key to dinner time success, I'll tell you what, variety, okay? HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40, count them, 40 chef-based recipes to select from every week, from family-friendly to fit and wholesome, which is my jam. You'll always find new and exciting recipes to try and love. It's quick right. and easy, B. You have 15 minutes? Sure you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50TFATK. Use the code 50TFATK for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50TFATK. All right. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. Oh, okay. oh I ran into your uh, boy, your Lord and Savior, John John Jones. John Jones. I sent the picture. You go, man, he's way bigger than you. He's big. He, uh, just so people, he's always been bigger than me. Always. I didn't know that. Yeah, we. So it was you can't get down to two hundred five, and he can. So you're thicker, but you're just bones are bigger. But that's it. He's, not, he's every bit as taller, tall as you are. Tall. Yeah, he's about an inch tall. I'm six four, so he's an inch tall at least. So he's six five and change. And then that's the first thing I said to him. That boy is in shape. Is he, he? Like he's gone up. So so Stipe put on weight. John's cut down on weight. Really? He's in shape, man. He's such a good dude. Yeah. What did you guys do? How'd you? How'd this come about? Well, because Monster owns Rain, right? So they flew in all their like main athletes mm -hmm. to speak and to talk to the team. So they brought me and John in, and so we were walking through the lobby to the thing. And I see him. I didn't see him at first, and then. Yeah, I heard, I heard something like some commotion. They grabs like a single leg. He's like, "You son of a bitch!" We're like wrestling in there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was fun. So you because you trained with trained him for a long time. Yeah. Oh, you did. I told him I said, "I knew you were gonna be successful at heavyweight, man." He used to beat the shit out of all of us back in the day. <laughs> He's like, "People don't understand, man." I'm like, they're starting to. Wow, he just grabbed you in a single leg. That's yeah. So he's fun. a great guy. Such wow. a good dude. That's pretty cool, man. He has a demeanor about him now too. It's just like the sense of calmness. I think once it's been you're through the, a lot, once you're the goat and you've gone through those been trials through and tribulations. Well, you can't take anything away from him. Took a lot of hate, took a lot of heat, and just kept delivering, kept winning, kept winning, kept winning. And after a while, it's like, I'm unbeatable. What do you you want to you want to be a hater? You still want to be a hater? Unbeatable. Like they, they, every time he'd win, they'd be like, Yeah, but he was on this. Uh, no, dude, he's he might just be the greatest ever. Okay. No, he is. That. There's no argument. He is. Yeah, by far. Yeah. No, he's heavyweight champ. It's not even close. And he's got. He's fighting. Cyril Gunn. Oh, I'm sorry, Stipe. Stipe. He beat Cyril Gunn for the yes, he did. heavyweight title. Yes. Like a child, and then he's fighting Stipe next. I think that's gonna be a tough night in the office for Stipe. Very, Anybody very fighting tough. John Jones is gonna be a tough night in the office. Oh, you should see him though. I was like, really? God, dog, he looked good. Crazy shape. Because for his Phenomenal. fight with uh, Cyril Gunn, he had a little belly. Too thick. A little thick. And he, he saw the comments, all right? He saw that. And Everybody sees like, the comments. Fat shaming works, unless you're work. Lizzo. But with it John, work. it worked. And so now he's just like tight. Lean, mean, What's every he bit of About 240. Okay. Shred city. That's all you need to be, right? That's all you need to be. You look good. Did you hear uh, Hulk Hogan on Rogan? I didn't. Oh, I it's talked good. to Rogan about it. Oh, it's good. He said he was great. Oh. I'm, and I was telling Georgie, Georgie's a big WWE fan. We don't knock him for that. We still love him. But, uh, you know, I'm, as a kid, I liked it, and then I yeah, grew out of it, so I know some of it, but just Hogan talking about, like, like how he got started, Vince McMahon, the way he would do things, the old stories of the wrestlers, it was fascinating. Oh, yeah. Whether you're into wrestling or not, it was fascinating. It made me a wrestling fan. It. I want to listen to It's it. good. Because Rogan never talks about guests, but he, like, purposely talked about that. I talked to him, and he was like, fuck, it was great. 
It was such a fun conversation. Oh, I didn't. You know, when you're listening to such a good podcast, you don't want to get out of the car. I, I did a set, The Laugh Factor. I went on at 11:30 at night, and then I was driving God bless back. The factory, though. Yeah, I love it. That's my spot now. So when I was driving down, I started. I'm like, this is so good. Went in, did my set, got done around midnight, got my car, and was driving. So about 20 minutes from the I'm driving. Like, God, I wish it was a longer drive, man. That's how good that podcast is. Wow. That's at 12:30 at night. Wow. I gotta listen to that. It's then. good, dude. Jeez. It just makes you like the, the, the like his, whether you're a wrestling fan or not, you can relate to it. Like he was a musician, man. You know he, he was used, a musician. Yeah, he, he was in a band. And you know wow. he used to be six seven, but through all the back surgeries, he's now six four. That's because I told he. I remember yeah, he when I was huge. fighting Roy Nelson, the Ultimate Fighter. This is how you know I wasn't gonna win. I was just on folks. I was like staring at the crowd. I see Tito. I'm like, oh, I love Tito. I see Hulk Hogan. Like, <laughs> no holy way. shit, Hulk Hogan's here. And then after, uh, you know, I lose, and I'm in the elevator, and I'm standing next to him, and I was like, I remember thinking, oh, he's not that tall. Um, I, I might be a little taller than him. Yeah. And he had, he, like, heels on, like, platforms. Like, oh, he's not that tall at all. Yeah. He's, we're the same size and his heels on. I'm taller than him. But he said it was because of all the back surgery he's had throughout the years. He's lost inches. Wow. Six foot seven. Six seven, shredded 250. Freak. Yeah, he was a freak. Freakazoid. He was a freakazoid. Freak. You see him back in the day? Freak, dude. Yes. Well, when he did Rocky, remember when he did Rocky? He got paid ten thousand dollars for that. What? And got fired for it. Yeah. What? And Vince McMahon, because he had to miss something, so he told Vince McMahon he's going to do Rocky, so they fired him. But he said Stallone was like, "Do the movie, I'll give you ten thousand. And he was like, "I want fifteen. And St Stallone was like, "Cool, I'll give you thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> and you could pet the turtle. Oh my God! Look at that. How about Stallone's body back then? Look at this though. Like getting picked up for real. I mean, Stone's small, so that's not that impressive. Yeah, he was 155 for that. Yeah, that, I could do that to you right now. <laughs> yeah, you actually could. What are could. we talking You've about? You've done that to yeah, me, actually. I'll do that to you right now, too. Shut up. <laughs> no, you couldn't. I fight back. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Anything you see Hulk Hogan do to Special Stallone, <laughs> yeah? I can do to you right now. I, but see, it's fine. Hold on. Let that sink in. No, I won't because I've I never- I will bamboozle you to I've your never delight. Actually, I've never actually gone deep on you. Actually, I did. I, I well, do you remember that Pause. one time? Remember that one time we we were we were, like this is twelve years ago, and I said you were still fighting, and I said like try to get out of my. I'm gonna get you in underhooks or something like that, and I go try to get out for real, and you were like, what do you mean? I go, I'm gonna hold on to you, and I'm gonna try to wrestle with you, and I want you to like actually get out of this. I said get out of this and get me in a bear yeah, hug and I shaked you like a tick, and then you did it. And you did it, and I think I got, I hit my lip. Oh, I already hit your lip. I fucked my lip up, right? But I put my wallet and my phone on the, on the hood of my car, and I got slow fucked up. I was like a little bit dazed, a little drove bit off. Yeah. I drove off yeah. and left my shit. I'm like, I where's my stuff? I came ah. back, and somebody had run over my phone, my fucking I wallet. I was like, ah. And I had this big mark on my face. Yeah, yeah but Hulk you made 13 <clears throat> Gs for that. It's That's just, it? a, it's such a good oh, interview, man. It's one of the good ones. I remember I, I tried to run a race, have a race with you, a foot race too, and you were young, and then you beat me pretty badly. But uh, no, and uh, but, then but, but, our boy was there too, Dove. Yes, it was that in front of the improv. Yes, and I was like, "That's right." I go, "Let's go," and I we go. And and Dove I was, was like, laughing. Oh, fuck really? Yeah, you were fast. I smoked you. You smoked me, and then uh, Kevin Hart tried to run against that guy, and he pulled his yeah. gro he pulled his hip, his flexor, oh, and his abdomen. He tried run out. Uh, he tried run a uh, sprint against the NFL guy and yeah. did warm up and like blew his hip out. Yeah, because he's because Kevin's really fast. He was told, and then, but he didn't warm up, and he's forty something. You can't do it. No, I posted. I said I relate to this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then now I. That's why he's I, just older. You know, yeah. can't do it. Just older. I went to Monster Jam with the fam on Saturday night. Dude, I'm supposed to bring my son to that. Where is it? Well, it's gone now, bud. Where was it though? Uh, Close by? Staples. Yeah, Crypto. I was supposed to bring my son to that. He didn't. And I didn't. Well, you had a show. I got back last, I got back, I woke up at, well, I, I took a 7.30 flight from San Antonio, which is 5.30 my time, you gotta wake up, before. That, that'll fuck you, that'll fuck you. Yeah. It, it just Whenever gets you. Whenever you do that, yeah, and then you're you like You try to sleep on dad. the plane, it ain't happening. Uh, yeah, they had it on Sunday too, I think at one o'clock. I was, I was zombie dad. dad, I was zombie dad. But the, the Monster Jam's interesting. 
They, uh, you know, it's the same show every time. It's probably the worst thing I do with my kiddos. I just do it for them. Yeah. I've been once. I'm like, oh, fuck. It's tough, man. right? Because you got to drive down the traffic. Then I pretend it's over after the motorcycles come out. I'm like, well, Gravedigger won again. And we leave. <laughs> yeah, you got to get out of there. Because otherwise, it's <laughs> getting like, out is a nightmare. That's not too bad. But the, because it's, it's not packed. Oh, it's not. No, it's not sold out. Mm-hmm. But the, I was looking at the motorcycle guys. They, they During the intermission, they have the motorcycle guys do the big air. They're like all former X game guys. I was thinking, I was like, I wonder how much they pay them. And it, this my whole time in my head, I'm like, I bet $1,000. Because I was thinking, they did two shows today. There's no way they're paying. There's four of them, four grand a pop. That's eight grand. There's no way that nuts eight grand a day. You mean it's more? No, less. Really? Don't you think? I bet they pay them $500? Is that fucked up? That's a good question. Put gas in the motorcycle. Yeah, I don't, yeah maybe they're just like, yeah, you get more fans like this, even though you have helmets on. How much do you get paid for Monster Jam, right? Well, I mean, that must be the Monster Jam. No, that's the drivers, yeah. for God's sakes. Put the, how much did the most? I did. I did. That's what I'm getting right now. Is basic pay? Wow, that's pretty interesting. They're on the road all the time, though. It's oh, a yeah. tough gig. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like wrestling. Like they oh. And they got to be in charge of getting to the next city. Like so maybe those, those, those motorcycle guys are doing the same thing, though. So they're making money, too. I don't know. I mean, they're probably part of the thing, right? Yeah, but they're they're only on there for about fifteen minutes. Hmm. That's just stunt That's a stunt right. Yeah, right. yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I don't think much because I was thinking about. There's no way they're nuts. Eight grand. Are they doing crazy things though? Yeah, big ear shit. Like you know. Hmm. It doesn't seem like much. Yeah. So the, the average is fifteen hundred for an eight hour day. They're there for fifteen minutes, Jen. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's how I pass my time. <laughs> I, mean, I wonder how much they make. I am, um, you know. Good question. Something to think about. I mean, that that shit jumping like, like have you ever like seen the GoPro footage of a guy who's a mountain biker like to, where they do those crazy yeah. <laughs> You're talking about on Instagram. It's like literally like flying. It's like the most insane no, the, thing I've ever the seen. The insane ones is, and Rogan's posted them years ago, but those guys on the narrow oh my God. single lane going to oh side of the mountain. Oh my God. Like one mistake, it's game and set. they match. do die. Yeah. It's but like I the mean, squirrel suit guys. It's so wild. It's just like, are you out of your mind? That adrenaline, that need for that juice, don't have it. I just, you know. Have a little bit of it, but not like that. mm but don't you you get that from stand up? You know, it's like there's certain things. Yeah, I get my rocks off otherwise. I just don't want to. Yeah, that that they, they all break crazy bones. Like I was I was shit. test driving this TRX uh, Dodge uh, TRX. It's most it's the fastest production truck of all time. Rogan has you've been in it. He, Rogan has the Hennessy. Oh yeah. Mine's not the Hennessy. It's, it's just the standard TRX, the sand edition. And I was driving with the guy, and he's like, "You can floor it here." And it's from light to light, and I, I get up like 110. Wow. Uh, what is that? Is that it? One yeah, of these? Is it. that a stock car you can buy? Yeah. It's the fastest. There's the Raptor R now that pr- might beat it. I don't know if it beats it 0 to 100, but that thing's a monster. 700 horsepower. It's the last year Dodge is making the Hellcat engine. They're going electric now. It's being a gay. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I want it. it. Now, it says it's reported gets 10 miles a gallon. 10 miles a gallon, but more likely, they think, 5 to 6. Oh, that's not oh. good. Yeah, they, 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 I I don't know why, but Instagram has been sending me car crash uh, like a tester testing like so they'll they'll have cars go over speed bumps at fifty miles an hour like uh and see which car like can deal with it and then they'll have like a truck run into the front of it against a wall at thirty miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, you get the Bronco one. The Bronco one was the worst. Like you're done. Yeah, I mean, but what's surprising it's is all fake news, how right? many of those? What do you mean? Keep going. Well, but what's surprising is how, like what you think will not. Oh, the fifty miles an hour running into a wall at fifty miles an hour. The Volvo, the whole body stays intact. Uh, the Bronco, it just folds yeah, on itself. Bronco folds like a paper chair. Yeah, um, certain cars just Broncos don't. Are, but those Ford Broncos, they're not known for their build. You know what didn't they're having do some well? issues. The uh, the uh, Range Rover, the uh, Range Rover did not do very well. I was mm. like surprising. Um, yeah. But why is that fake news, all that stuff? Who knows who's running those and all that shit. Who knows yeah. what Bronco they use, if they use an actual Bronco. It's a shell of a Bronco. Uh-huh. It's not like official testing. 
Remember the crash test no. dummies? Not the band. But do you remember the actual <laughs> crash test dummies? Not the band, you silly, band. delightful fuck. Yes, I remember that. Crash test dummies, that? yeah. And you'd see that shit in store. Remember they put the crash test dummies in the car and then run them in and oh they'd have God. like markers all over them? What happened? What happened I remember I had crash test dummy toys. Well, That's you know what they were they using, were. right? They were using cadavers. You know that. They were I mean, using, the crash test dummies were fake dummies. But they were using human bodies and then they got caught doing it. I haven't seen that Mythbusters yes. episode. They were using yeah. dead bodies. Really? Yes. And they would buy dead bodies and they would put them in there. And, uh, well, I don't get why this is a problem. Cadavers have been used. To, I agree. But yeah, let's do it, dude. Yep. I agree. This testing provides more realistic I testing than a dummy. Is a good idea. But raises ethical dilemmas because human cadavers and animals are not to be consent to research studies. <laughs> why won't human cadavers be? Uh, I want to test the cadaver. Me too. This shit has saved so many lives. This shit has animals so on with. If it's on a, if, like, don't strap a Labrador retriever to my or a shotgun. And run, yeah, or, and have the chimp drive into a wall. But an animals is uh, tough too. No, don't kill that. What are you doing, yeah. dude? You but just, dead a dead human, light them up, baby. I agree. Especially if they sign off on it. Yes. Yeah. They didn't say what they don't. I'm an organ designs. donor. If I die, they're allowed to take my organs. Yeah, me too. Yours are like, old as dirt. They're gonna be old. Now. Yeah. But if Porsche called me like, hey, man, we, we realize you've been with us forever. When you pass away, do you mind if we crash test your body in the new 911 Turbo? I'd be like, fuck yeah. I would yeah. do that Make sure you heartbeat. put my face on it, though, dude. I would do that. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, though. don't put like a hat on. Like, I want the full GoPro. I want cameras on my face HD. But your body, the rigor mortis, how do you, how do you deal with that? You know? I don't know. Some of that stuff, yeah. Some of that stuff is <laughs> super. Being a, being a mortician... And like preparing a body for to be embalmed, you'll be is, a weirdo. Well, it's a business too, though. Yeah, and there's a they lot make of bang, dog. My, would, my acting teacher told me the he said he said he told the whole class this story. He said because we were talking about like drawing on memories, you know, and how you do things. And he said when my mother died, I went. I tried to find the bathroom at the morgue. We dropped her off. I turned back around and went to the bathroom. And I went into this, you know, been to this room. I was trying to find it. And he saw a guy come out of his mom, where his mom was. And he was like, and he was all sweaty. And he oh, was no. fixing it. And he was like, and he caught his eyes. And he, he looked at me. bamboozled your dad. My, my, my acting teacher said, I know what you just did. And I know you did that to my mother. And he just, he just stopped. They looked at each other. And he never forgot it. And he didn't go to the bathroom. He just went, got back in the car and just said, just Shit drive. But he said, I've never, there's never been a doubt in my mind of what that guy did. There, there, there are. Hey, bro, if you fuck people. my dead mother's body, I'm going to fight you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, yeah. there's rules. Yeah. Give him the rules, dude. Yeah. Hey, you want to know where my line's at? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that would be my, my line. My mom passed away. I find out you fucked her mouth. That would be my line. Her dead mouth? Don't say that. Don't, don't get so graphic out of respect for We're talking mom. about dead. I know, dude, but can you just not... I know you're going to take this a step further. Let's just use metaphors. The point is this. The point is right. this. There's a line you crossed There's it. a line and you crossed it, and I'm going to probably have to... I'm going to be mad at you. Yeah, I'm not going to be like your acting coach. I'm like, I'm just going to hold this piss. But then what are you going to do? You're going to go, hey, wait a minute. No, I'm just gonna, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to yeah. beat him up and then use my mom's dead body and beat him up. What if he was doing push-ups? You never know. <laughs> True. But it's hard to prove without video. Yeah, those guys at the morgue, that's some dark stuff, that's some man. That's dark stuff. They my buddy, my buddy for a long time worked um, as a, uh, I told him this should be a movie, but he, he worked as a guy who would go and collect the bodies at accidents and oh, things like that. Like the crime scenes and stuff? He, they had to get a guy out of the, gear. speaking of which, there was a carnival and a dude got caught in the gears of the happens all the merry-go-round. Time. Yep. And he, he took him a while because he got caught like up down and and. He said that we had to get him out of that. Pulling the pieces out? Oh, dude. It was not good. Boy, you need to pay the bills if you're doing You got to pay though. the bills. And he was, you know, I think he was an addict at the time. He was a junkie. So. Yeah, so you got to get your drugs. How much does the morgue make, Chin? You had that up? The morticians? Yeah. Oh, that's it wasn't a recession. That they also got to paint their face. Well, the-, the Holy the, shit. You usually own- 31? But you usually yeah. own the company. That's it, right? So 27 to 76, that's like the average. But a lot of them are like family owned, like yeah. family, like yeah. the son does it, it's a family. then his son does yeah. it. And, and you get, then you're, you're, you're all an weird. expert at kind of being like, uh, you know, we, we, we have this, uh, we have this to offer. If you'd like, well, you're a salesman. Yeah. If you want, if you want the cheapest shit one, 
Uh, if you want a if you don't box. love your mom, we yeah. have this one for twenty dollars. Now, if you want satin, interior. now if you want that lit shit, yeah. if you want that lit one where you yeah. want them up and like you're celebrating, yes. that's two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And that was the Italian uh, culture I came from, where you spent a lot on a few on a on a cast. Oh, I told my girl, I want a do do me like the uh, the cartel does. I want the whole building play videos of me doing podcasting. So you don't want in. to be used as a uh, dummy in a crash. Oof, that's a tough one. If Porsche, only if por for Porsche. In the old days, they would they would hang you from a tree and let the birds eat you if you were the enemy. They wouldn't even give you a proper burial. They would just allow the scavengers to take you. Well, who, now, well, who decides if you're the enemy? Because if you let Reddit decide, we're both hanging from trees. But yeah. you let your your daughter decide, we're living pretty good when we pass. Well, the, who Tibetans, decides? the Tibetans will crack your head and let the vultures come and just take you away. It's not bad. You just disappear. They literally split your head open. So that no, there's some to with being one with Earth. Let the birds, let the vultures come. They 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 pick you right quick. They pick you clean right quick. Oh, did you see? Uh, speaking of the dead, did you see uh, Tucker Carlson might interview uh, Putin? You seen no. those rumors? No, that's interesting. Because Putin wants it. He said there's a lot of fake news going around in America about this Russian Ukraine war. I want to sit down with Tucker Carlson and give the facts, bitch. That would be very interesting. Wouldn't that be insane? Tucker Carlson demands an interview with Robert Putin. Well, don't say demands, right? Yeah. Because Putin reads demands. He's like, dude, mm -hmm. I was going to have a delightful time, but yeah, they're trying to get him. Wow. Be the biggest interview of all time, right? Because Trump's the biggest. Statistically, Trump and Tucker's the biggest of all time. I watched it. Do you watch it? I watched it on Twitter, the full thing. Yeah, I did. It was it was good. It was, it was good. It's crazy that this most watched. You know, it beat out Oprah and Michael I Jackson. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oprah wow. and Michael Jackson, the most watched interview, and then Trump and Tucker's now number one. That Oprah and Michael one's weird. I like when he brought. She up, talks brought about up. molesting kids. She's like, it could happen to anybody, y'all. What? Yeah. I like the way he brought up uh, the Jeffrey Epstein thing. He goes, "Do you seriously not think he killed? Do you seriously think he killed?" Himself? That's when Trump. Like, you saw the politician come out. Well, he was like, I don't know. And Trump was like, I don't. He goes, now, more, more likely than not, he probably, you know, was murdered and there's a bunch of weird things that happened there. I can see how you guys. Get or he just didn't know. Like, he's like, I don't know. No, he didn't want, you could tell he didn't want to. Well, that's when like the politician he, came out. I don't know. It sounds like he wasn't. It, the, the, my answer would be that too, though. My answer would be like, I mean, it makes sense that he would kill himself because he had nothing to live for, but I don't know. I haven't, I, you know, I didn't follow it. Like, so, so Crowder on his show did, they actually looked at all the facts about how. What he would have to do to cr to break that bone and stuff. And see, when you say you don't fall, I can't believe you don't see this stuff. Be yeah, I mean, like I, the way his neck was broke. They say he couldn't do that from a hanging. Yeah, the cameras were off. The 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 armed security guards. He was on suicide watch. Just decided to walk away for a certain amount of time. It's all weird. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I just don't, when you I, add all that. Up, I don't like, follow uh, those things because I always just assume it's all conspiracy. And then and then, but when I see, hear like smart people who actually follow it go you're out of your mind at what because rogan actually would thinks it's crazy to think that he did kill himself I'm, and rogan does i'm a with lot of, rogan well, I, rogan does a lot of research so i was like but we then, say rogan does a lot of research Carlson. as much as i do it, it's Crowder. all out there though and okay. crowd like all yeah. when it comes to epstein yeah. it's all out I just there didn't look at so it. we need to defend him like you stupid yeah right well no it's no but it's not stupid to think well you're also not but, you but also, it's also but it, i can also see somebody like that killing themselves right so like you have nothing to live for. You're never getting out of jail. You go from being this super rich guy with everything, island and all that, and now you're but never you, going. You, away. You're going to be in solitary confinement. No, no, because you give himself. up names and the names. No, hundred percent. I'm saying out. I can see him killing himself. I can see a human being saying. The only problem well, with it when the they end. did the autopsy and all that stuff, and they said it didn't. That's when you're like, Ew, this gets, what? What's that? The autopsy, like the way his neck was broke. They say it doesn't make sense the way he hung right. himself. Like when actual people that don't have a dog in the fire, like well, from our viewpoint, is that what the is that what did the autopsy, the official autopsy say? That's interesting, because th there's no doubt this guy was involved in something in the highest corridors of power, right? But shouldn't and shouldn't, who, shouldn't everyone be more alarmed? We haven't got one name from the book he has of all the names. How that's not on the news every day, uh, like Tucker says. How nobody's talking about that anymore? The medical examiner dismisses doubts about Epstein autopsy. The medical examiner who ruled Jeffrey Epstein death a suicide immediately pushed back Wednesday against the suggestion by a longtime forensic pathologist hired by Epstein's family that some of the evidence indicates homicide. Chief medical examiner Dr. Barbara Sampson said she stands firmly behind her findings 
in the August autopsy report, which ruled Epstein hanged himself and temporarily quelled much of the speculation surrounding the financier's death. Conspiracy theories about Epstein's death were reignited after Dr. Michael Baden, who was in the room for Epstein's autopsy and has been called as an expert witness in high-profile cases, spoke about it in an interview Wednesday on the TV program Fox & Friends. Baden's comments suggest Epstein's family might contest the autopsy results in future legal proceedings. As he was found dead in a cell, blah, 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 with a bed sheet around his neck. He'd been held there since July. Okay. okay. Um, Baden said that the injuries found on Epstein's body, including fractures to his larynx and hy hyoid bone, were extremely unusual in suicidal hangings and more consistent with homicidal strangulation. There's evidence here of homicide that should be investigated to see if it is or isn't a homicide, he said. Baden, who was a New York City chief medical examiner in the 70s, said he hasn't seen the type of neck bone injuries Epstein suffered in a suicide in 50 years of death investigations. He cautioned, though, that his observations were not conclusive. Sanson quickly responded to Baden's comments, saying, I stand firmly behind our determination in the cause of death. Uh, okay. Other experts said injuries to the hyoid bone do happen in suicidal hangings, and while not common, are more likely to happen in hangings involving older people. Epstein was 66. Samson said no conclusion should be drawn for a loan, f from a loan injury or piece of evidence. In forensics, it's a general principle that all information from all aspects of all an investigation must be considered together. Everything must be consistent and nothing can be inconsistent. No yeah, so, you know. It's, it's cloudy. Yeah, it's cloudy. Yeah, I, I, I the, just, the person the state elected investigate, of course they're going to say Here's that. what I think. And then when they hire an independent one, which obviously they have a bias. Yeah. They're saying it wasn't suicide. So that's where you can see how people come to conclusions there. The other thing is, I don't see, I, I'm, it's not surprising someone like that would kill themselves. Sure. Like, that, that's all. So, so if you said, if we did know he killed himself, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. You have nothing to live for. You're going away forever. And you're an I think it all makes product. sense. Yeah. A, he has nothing to live for, kills himself. Yeah. B, they don't want him to talk and get yeah. a lesser sentence because he has all the li yes. full list. Well, the, the larger the most question powerful, is, who did, who the most powerful people in the world. Yes. And, and we don't have any names anymore. We don't need, like, who? Nothing's released. Is that not weird to you? Well, the, 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 we have a list, but we're, who are they? They have it, traffic? but they're, they're not releasing okay, it. Okay, but let me ask you this. Is that because very rich people paid off who they had to pay off? You so know? they're paying off politicians, FBI, government? I, it was just witnesses, people who were going to come forward. You need a witness. You need p women who well, said, no, I but, was trapped. No, because if, if that book is in the custody of the government, it wouldn't be in the government. That's just a flight people? log. That's a flight log and who was at the island. No, no, no. No, that's different. That got released. We know yeah. those names. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the actual log, his black book that they yes. found in his apartment. But even that is just names. You need witnesses who say, I was trafficked, I was raped, I was whatever. Yeah, and none of those women so it'd be very easy to go to those women and go hey hey you can do that or you can you can make five million dollars how's that sound I'm that's probably you. what i happened. take the five mil yeah i would imagine it's not because all of them hire lawyers and the lawyers are the ones that reach out to yeah, them and they want the money yeah. but it's just weird is it not weird that the cameras just happen to turn off the time he was murdered yeah the guards just happen to go on break yes a lot of weird shit. All that's just, oh, yeah. Dude, well, that that's happens, why. That happens all that's the time. That's why people are like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It is weird. Very weird. Yeah, it's all strange. And it's possible. No doubt. Yeah, both, both sides are possible. That's yeah. why it's up for debate. Heaven forbid the government should be transparent and give us the list of the names. I always go with the, the least sexy theory. All, I always go all of the, this is sexy. Though. Yeah. It's all sexy, but I always go with the least sexy, like just killed himself, you know? There yeah, no, but, but you know why it's sexy? And we didn't, that nobody did this. Nobody asked those guards to take a break. Nobody asked those guards to turn the camera off. Mm. Why would they do that? Yeah. If you didn't commit suicide, why would they do that? Yeah. Or maybe there could be, this is the other thing. Maybe they told him, hey, dude, if you don't do it yourself, we're going to do it. We're going to take a break. We're going to turn the cameras yeah. off. You do what you want to do. Yep. Yeah. And he was like, cool, say that less. That makes sense. There's that too. That's another theory. I think that the, he had to have been connected to probably Mossad, like you know, like Israeli intelligence. <coughs> Clintons. Wait, what were you saying, Chin? What, you wanna, what, what current it's, event do you have? Take, let's take a little break. You've heard of Area Fifty One? Yes. You ever heard of Area Fifteen in Nevada, November second through the fifth? Our boy Aubrey Marcus is throwing a freaking music festival featuring headliners: Chromio, Doctor Fresh, Elderbrook. Jai Wolf, The Glitch Mob, Troy Boy. This is Arcadia. It's a festival oh. of, for a more beautiful world, okay? It was kind of his, he decided that Burning Man was starting to get a little bit corrupted, and this is kind of his answer, it sounds like. This is sick.
Look, if you guys want to be part of something legendary, you want to step the first in the world, one. Anything is possible in this world. Beauty, the beauty of human expression, takes center stage. All right, and as and they these bad together, boys are selling out, they're selling out, and ticket prices are going up. So head to fit uh, fitofservice.com slash no fit for service fit dot com for service slash Arcadia A R K A D I A. Now that's fit for service dot com slash Arcadia A R K A D I A. Have some fun. This insane lineup with Chromio, Dr. Fresh, Elderbrook, uh, Jai Wolf, The Glitch Mob, and Troy Boyd. They're all going down and performing in Area 15, not to be confused with 5051. Area 15 in Nevada. All right. So make sure you guys check it out. Our boy Aubrey Marcus is hosting we should this amazing there. festival. We should check this out. Great events? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. He had a painting of Bill Clinton. Well, Clinton and, was on that and plane George a lot, Bush. wasn't he? Wasn't Clinton a regular? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think he was getting laid? No. It was all a little dicey. Yeah. You guys want to play another game? That was a fuck island. That was fuck island. That was fuck boy island. Yeah. That's you want to talk about the real fuck boy island? That was fuck boy island. Yeah, let's play another game. All right. Well, this is what Brendan uh, said we should probably do for the next episode. Um, I did. What is that? What are those shoes? I like those shoes. Palm Angels. Vans, man. Huh? These are Vans. Oh. It's just Palms Angels are Did you get those in Suplex? No. Yeah. I said we should play this game? No, so it's just a continuation from the other name you Asian. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to give you some faces, some pictures of some Asians that are in Hollywood, yeah. right? So you might recognize them from different TV shows okay. and movies, but just guess what they are. So what, what, what the only Chinese, choice is. Japanese. I mean, because honestly, you should, I, you should probably take your magic mind before you do. You need all your. <laughs> Cells yeah. here, all your brain cells, all your brain power. Give me my, give me if my we're gonna play a game, we're yes. gonna play a game. We need power. our full brain power. No, yo Asians. No, yo, no Asians. yo Asians. All right, this is. Let's see. This is when I want. When I want to feel. This is when, when I when I when I, when I want to dig deep in my Asian encyclopedia. Get yourself in a state magic of magic mind. Get yourself in. Know your Asians. Brought to you Cheers. by magic. Nootropic benefits. Five hours of energy right here. Mm. I don't. It, Nootropic like benefits. That. No, the, nootropic, well, it does. Yeah. It has nootropic benefits. Yeah, it's not known for energy, bud. Yeah, you also get that flow. Don't say five hours of energy either, though. Right? That's an actual product. Right. <laughs> You're right. It's good though. Delicious. Yeah. And cheaper than coffee. Cheaper than a cup of coffee, right there. That's all you need. Try it. And matcha has more antioxidants than anything else on the planet, apparently. Matcha. All right, give it to us. Jim. All right, so first of all, so yeah, the only means. the options are um, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, Filipino. I love it. And so there might be multiples of some. So just go ahead and just guess okay. what they are. Right. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Love this. So this is back in the day. If you remember Twenty One Jump Street, oh, he was like yeah. one of the yeah. first Asian guys. Yeah, that's he's either Vietnamese, he's or Filipino, Filipino, one or the other. So pick one. Filipino. I'm gonna go with Filipino. So they're both going Filipino? If you can remember this, George, <laughs> help me out. All right. Next one. He's Korean. Korean. Wow. All right. Next one. Korean. I know my Koreans. There's, there's, uh, there's white in there, but there's also. Yeah. There's you can't give me like a mix. It's a heavy color. white. There. She's, no, she's straight up what she is. She's straight what, up. What, what, yeah. were, what was the list again? I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Korean, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Filipino. She's Chinese. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's a good. That's. It's the round face. I'm going to say Korean. I'm going to say Korean. <laughs> the round face. It's a round face. Dog gives away every time. Oh. I'm going to say Korean. Chinese. I'm going to go down the line here. One more. Okay, no. Wait, multiple more. Korean. Korean. He's funny. All right. Here we go. Korean. Ooh. Japanese. Interesting. It's the hair. I'm saying Korean. The hair. <laughs> it's the hair. Okay. It's the certain things do it for me, man. Next one. <sighs> Chinese. Chinese, very hot. Japanese, Chinese. She's Jap that middle one, Japanese baby. It's the same person. I'll Heavy tell you what. Japanese. One of you guys are right here. Uh, last one, Chinese. Uh, that's Japanese. That's Chinese. One of you Japanese. guys are right here too as well. All right, so starting from the top, I don't remember them all, but uh, so this is Dustin Nguyen from Twenty One Jump ah, Street. He's fucking uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Damn. He's Vietnamese. Fuck, I didn't know that was an option. The guy said Filipino. Yep. I know. Second one, John Cho, Harold and Kumar. You know this guy. He's been in a bunch of movies. He's Korean. We got so that So I think one. you guys got it. Yeah, yeah, that one's easy. 
This is Leia Salonga, one of the biggest Filipino stars, Filipina stars Fuck. in the world. I said Chinese. I don't think she's pure Filipino. She's dude. pure. Yeah, I remember her from uh, I'm way back. I'm telling you that she's not. But okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. Come on, Brian. <laughs> don't argue with the Philippines. Asian. Okay. Uh, so this is Randall Park, Korean. I think you guys both got, you it, got or, that right. Yeah. Yep, yep. This is Simu Liu. I said Chinese. He's right? Chinese. He's yeah. Chinese. Well, Canadian Chinese. And you, said, and China. you said Korean. Are we sure he's not ethnically? <laughs> hey, bitch. He's Canadian. <laughs> You're going to you, fuck up the game if you keep questioning these guys. I want to look up his actual up the game. nationality. And we'll look it up after the, the okay. last yeah, season, right? It says yeah. Screech in the podcast the whole right now. Let's <laughs> do it after. All right. Brennan's right about this. This is Tamlin Tamita from Too easy. Karate Kid. She's Japanese. Oh, she is? Yeah, she's Japanese. Damn. She can kick me in my karate. Damn, she's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, even at her age right now. This is Zhang Zi. She's Chinese. Chinese. Got that one so right. The, yeah, the Jackie Chan movie. I as destroyed well. you. Dude, dude, actually, yeah. Brendan did pretty damn yeah, good. Damn good. I told, I'm good with faces. Go, can you just go back to that guy this right one? there and look up his parents? That guy couldn't be <laughs> any more Chinese. Because I might win this one. No. Oh, you is a. Chinese. <laughs> Could be more Chinese. There is Chinese as it gets. I don't know why you argue with Chin. There is Chinese as it gets. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. But that was damn good, though. You guys did really well. Well, I did. Thank you, sir. They are probably from the border <laughs> of Korea and China. <laughs> he, no, he, that's why it's a difficult one. But it's, you, you know, know more about Epstein or Asians? <laughs> it's hard to tell with Asian faces, man. Especially nah. like, No, no. Because I try to do other Asians other than Chinese, it's Japanese, hard, Korean. But there's oh, no, not, you get in the weeds with it. The, there's not enough celebrities. That, I don't know, like, yeah. Hmong celebrities or Mongolian celebrities. Mong, it's well, hard to wait find. Wait five yet. years. Okay. Well, yeah, let's, We're let's getting knock on wood yeah. that it happens. Laos yeah. is on the rise. Yeah, Laotian. La 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 yeah, all that stuff. Ocean, yeah. But yeah, so there, <laughs> there's that game. That's I good. think I got That's one good. wrong. That's very good. I know my face. That was good, Brent. Stuff, man. I'm proud of you. Very good. For not racist. Not racist. Hashtag not racist. What's this? I just saw. Hashtag Brian's racist. Texas man. Um, I don't know if we want to go too. No, we don't. Far. Okay, let's it. just skip this one. We don't need to get flagged for this. Who cares? So this. Remember, we talked about this. This the the coach that made out with the player. <laughs> not a coach. He's like the head of. See how things get exaggerated. He gave her a little peck. No. So it, it, there's a twist here. Uh -huh. So the now this guy who's uh, the federation is suspending him. I think for 90 days. He's him and the Federation are no him and FIFA are trying to sue that girl because they're saying that she initiated it he by grabbed her face by picking her picking him up first and then she said he he's claiming that she said that uh, she was con, you know what do you call it con, not consent consent, yeah, consent consenting to the kiss beforehand and it was like euphoric and all this is all stuff. stupid hey, what a waste of it time is and such energy a waste of time let it's them just have go. their day oh, yeah he act, he got so he got really excited such pecked her on the bullshit. lips. Now, if he was like, oh, 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 that'd be weird. <laughs> he just gave her a little pat. But she's still against it. She said that she she did not consent, all this stuff. Fucking so she can get sued. She needs to be like, listen, I wish you didn't do that, but it's a time of celebration. He should know not this to do that. This should not women. be a conversation. She's an asshole. <laughs> she's an asshole. She's an asshole for like calling him out, like, I did not consent. Jenny was the one who lifted me up. I told her to forget about the penalty, and I said to her, a little peck, and she said, "Okay." That's what he's saying. Why would he say a little peck? Well, I don't know. The whole sounds like he's weird. an asshole. Too, it's though. just also weird. Like, don't kiss your player. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm like, yeah. But why also, would you like, kiss you're in the like moment, that. and you're just like, you know, you're just like, you know, I'm they gonna both kiss. suck though. They or they're suck. just human, and that just it was the moment, and like, shut up. I don't want to talk about this. Move on. So it I, says here, though, the Spanish Federation said it would take legal action over what it called Hermosos. Yeah, and they're assholes lies. too. The Everybody's girls, an asshole. The girls lies. Yeah, what a, what a waste lies. of time. They're all assholes. Everybody's an asshole. <laughs> Everybody sucks. That's what I said. Fuck See? off. You picked one side and now you're backtracking. Now, now I think everybody's an asshole. Fuck all you yeah. guys. All right. So this one I thought was kind of crazy because I didn't I thought there was just rumors, but apparently Bill Murray really did date Khalees. Legend. Dude. For a while. And she's bodied up. Yeah, she's she, bodied up. Dude, she's right curvy like the paying you, dog. Oh boy, yeah. did she ever. But apparently they broke up. That's too much. They're for still Bill. cool with each other. That's too much in the trunk for Bill. Yeah, Bill. God bless her. Seventy-two. Oh, she's forty-four. All right. All righty. Oh, this is for Brennan. So this artist apparently somehow he has parts of Charles Manson's hair as also and also his ashes. Wait, that's the art though. Yeah, that's the art. I was gonna say I'll buy a piece, but Jesus you Christ, that thing's terrifying. It's not for sale though. Oh. But you can see it in Pennsylvania at an art exhibit. <clears throat> oh, I'd go to that. That's the artist that tracks. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so there's oh, his ashes terrifying. that he puts inside that little shrunken head. Oh, that's And disgusting. there's parts of his hair. And they put in a tattoo, too? To a guy, Helter Skelter. He got a Helter Skelter tattoo? People, it says right here. But it's not the first time people were obsessed with mass killers. No. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. The, the, the golden killers. age of serial killers is over, though, man. They, they give them two cool names. They stop doing that, you know? Mm. Like the Hillside Strangler, lit. Night Stalker, lit. Mance and the Family, lit. They're always super interesting, but yeah. But now it's the, that those down. days are over. They're serial killers right now, but they're even like small dick killer. You know? you know how did I ever, ever tell you the story about how Todd Phillips financed his first movie? It's such a genius idea. It was before internet and stuff. It just have something to do with serial killers. Contacted John Wayne Gacy in jail, and he had John Wayne Gacy paint a picture of a clown. Go look up Hated. Look up the. Look up the documentary Hated, and you'll see a picture of a clown on the poster. It's John Wayne Gacy used had, to draw. He had John Wayne Gacy draw a clown, it? draw a clown, a self-portrait. Okay. Which one is it, bro? Um, it's called Hated, <laughs> and it's but but just Todd Phillips. Todd Phillips. Yeah. I mean, is it that rare? No. Yep, the Murder Junkies. Okay, that's one poster. Directed by Todd But there Phillips. was another poster. He raised money by getting John Wayne Gacy, and he sold. He he made a copy of a thousand of them, and sold them for like uh, a grand each or something. Uh, I can't remember. And raised a hundred thousand dollars. He's such a fucking genius. To get his and money John Wayne Gacy. So, but but what? So so he used to have to talk to John Wayne Gacy on the phone. Okay. And he would, and I think it's hated, but there's another, can you look up uh, another documentary by Todd Phillips? It might be the other one, but he, he no, that one said Todd Phillips yeah. hated. So he, he literally, um, type in Todd Phillips, John Wayne Gacy. So, 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 so check it out. So he, he, um, you know, take a look at this. There it is. Yeah. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. This one. I don't know where, yeah, where but it if was. you go back to, to the news, see John Wayne Gacy help, help Todd, Todd Phillips, Phillips get, his career started. get his career started. But Brian yeah, wants to yeah. pick though, right? That's all right. I mean, Todd's such a genius, and he hates that serial killer shit, but he had to talk to him on the phone all the time, and John Wayne Gacy had him, he said, okay, you got to fill out this uh, questionnaire for me. And it was a questionnaire that he had prepared for Todd about what like, kind of food he liked as a kid, what he looked like, all this he stuff. He made everybody do that. And Todd was like, Jesus Christ. But he painted it and sent it back to him. So and then he took it. the painting and yeah, and and sold a thousand on the, in the Village Voice. Put it in the Village Voice in he's, New York. Yeah, he can't do that these days. Todd's such a fucking serial killers can't man. make money off their crimes. Yeah. Well, he made money off it. He made the money. You know. I mean, this is the one that pops up. I think the that's most. the one. I think that's the one he did. A terrible drawing. <laughs> No, I that's say. not the one. Actually, he showed me what it was. It was a clown. He showed me what it was that he sold it. He sold it at the Village Voice. Um, do you guys want to talk about this? This is like pretty big in the news. I was expecting more of the. Uh, he's given the the bit of the Stone Cold or so the the Rock. It's Donald Trump's mugshot. Yeah, could that be more of a? I'm like literally. He's like, I'm gonna get you. you know, this, this. Sh this pictures. They should frame it and call it revenge. You know, he was selling it on his web. He, yeah, he yeah. hasn't posted on Twitter in forever. Right there, he posted this with merch. <laughs> you know how many people are doing that? The Toe Even I was like, man, that Toe Hold is selling that as a rash guard. They can't keep them in. They, they sold every one of them out like immediately. Everybody wants that. It's crazy to me how insanely popular. Did you see him when he went to the hood? They showed Biden go, and then oh, they, they showed him. him. Oh my god, dude! No, this is recently. They, sure. I mean, not they went nuts for him. His sure shot, I, was just, him. I was expecting more out of it. They should just call that mugshot revenge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's like a AI drawing. Wow. So they're comparing it to uh, Martin Luther King's that's mugshot as well. That's compared. very strange to compare, but whatever. I yeah. can't believe Britney Spears got fucking divorced. <laughs> Who cares about that? I'm so mad. The guy doesn't get any dime either. I was wow. in the prenup. He doesn't get a dime. Back to training, my man. Yeah. He's a personal trainer. Yeah. He's like, I he gets like no money. No. He he could I, apparently 
can you imagine like like the, the, then you start to realize you're like she might be just so batshit crazy or just he's like oh i see why the dad had her on that lockdown yeah, yeah. this bitch is great like you start seeing this stuff and you're like mm. did her instagram videos not give it away for god's right. sakes and the fans yeah. like oh she's just acting crazy so she can get out of this conservative ship or mm -hmm. she's giving us signs to help her we he helped her that's batshit crazy that's right. the dad's that's like right. i told you dumbasses she literally might not be all there. Like that's then that's she might suffer from real. Oh, they they had uh, Logan Paul was on Flagrant, and the he was he he was talking to Logan about Dylan Dennis, mm. and I, it's a good interview because he's like the because Dylan Dennis he posted a video today. I don't know where he gets this stuff, but you know it's not AI or nothing. Like the video he posted, you know it's her talking about how she hasn't had sex in a few days and how she's craving it and wants wiener or whatever, and so. Uh, Schultz he asked Logan, he was like, it's it, it felt like how's the house life? He's like, It's all good, man. That's why we signed up for the fight. Like he's dealing with it well. He's like, some were kind of funny too. And then Dylan and the guy Do winning in this would be Logan Paul. All the way to and the And I bank. think if Logan Paul boxes Dylan Dennis, I'm putting all my money on yeah. Logan Paul. Yep. But then I mean, also it's not a, no disrespect, but But Dylan says he has a picture, it's like a super promiscuous picture of her, probably hooking up with a dude. And Logan's like, I sat down with him, just me and him, no one around. And he was like, I think you're full of shit. You know, picture. And then Schultz, he's like, did you ask your girl, though? He's like, yeah. Do you know what he's talking about? She's like, I have no idea. So then Logan's like, and I told Dylan this. If you do have that picture, my fiance is not aware of it. That's a crime. Because if it's her performing some sort of sexual act and she didn't consent to that, that'd be a crime. That's yeah. revenge porn. Yes. He's like, and you post that, you go to jail, dude. Yes. He's like, so he's already set up. Yeah, he's like, he's already set himself up. So if he were to post that, which I'm not aware of, she's not aware of, she doesn't condone it. He, he's already on record If he saying, does that too, I'm going to lose all respect for Dylan Dennis. Like, that's fucked up to do to somebody's wife. That could be the mother of his future children. Yep. Like, I, I totally, totally am against Dylan that. was saying- I think it's an outrage. He was, he was saying he was going to post it while he's walking out. He's going to have somebody, like, on a timer. If he does that, that's fucking disgusting. I, these kids, man, there's just no rock it's, bottom. It's I don't get so it. It's so, it's so low class to do that. It's also a crime. It's also a violation of somebody's privacy. Well, it's the everything. Revenge porn is it's a felony. It's all shit. It's all shit. Like if I sent you a dick pic and then you posted it, well, I would. That's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> you get more followers. I, I, it, would be, it would be worth it. Yeah. But yeah, that I'm, 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 I, I'm totally against that. Like I, I and with every fiber of. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I still, there's no need for it. I, I also, hope he doesn't. How long do you keep though. doing it? Like you've done it. Now, it's already. It's already stupid. Yeah. It's hard for me to. Now the video you post this morning got six million views at nine a.m. I don't this give morning. a fuck. You know, so, so it's like fuck. you think it would die down. But but if if you if you want to be that person, then okay. But I, I agree. I don't like it. I don't think there's any need for it. Hopefully, the fight happens. But it's made the fight. It's supposed to be the co-main event. It's made it bigger than the main event. KSI and Tommy Fury. Nobody's talking about. It. Everyone's talking about Dylan Dennis. So he he did his job, and that's what Logan said. He's like, "This is why I had signed the dotted line." We're talking like, about it. Like, yeah, he was like, "I knew he was going to be the ultimate troll, which he is." I don't know if he expected this much, but this is what Dylan's pretty good at social media. It's just toxic, man. I just, I just don't like it. Look, if Dylan Dennis gets in there with his gloves and fights him, I want to see that. But apparently, I heard, I, I didn't know this, Dylan doesn't show up for a lot of fights. Yeah, he's fallen, out, true? Of, yeah, he's fallen out of a few fights. But fallen out or just doesn't show up? Like, he wouldn't not show for up For whatever reason, he falls out, yeah. Wow. I hope it happens, he's gotta, I'll watch. Yeah. Is there a video of him practicing training for it, of Dylan, or no? I don't know, nor do I care. I'd rather watch the videos of Logan's girlfriend than him training. What, where's your money on this fight? I mean, Lo I mean Logan. Logan. Yeah, yeah. Logan's bigger, too. I don't care about size. It's just skill. It's Logan boxes. Dylan yeah. doesn't box. I'd, well, I'd pay for it, though. Take my money, well, Logan. Dylan's going to make a lot of money if he shows up. Yeah, big time. He's going to lose a lot, apparently lose a lot of money if he doesn't show up, too. Yeah, he has in the, the stipulation in the contract, right? Yeah. He gets penalized. Yeah, 100K. But Logan already said, like, he's gotten half a million followers off of this. So, like, he already made his money back if he did pull out. Yeah. Um, and if he does pull out, then Mike Perry steps in when she gets really dicey. For Lo That'd be a bad idea. That. That'd be a bad idea. Is that it, Chin? Uh, you want more? Or you good? Listen, man. <laughs> the thing about me is I'm always ready to go. We're in Covina. <laughs> Covina. Covina Holmes. Uh, this weekend, uh, uh, come see me in Salt Lake City. Friday, Saturday. Wise guys. Wise guys. Can't wait. Great club. King Center, Sept Saturday, September 23rd in Melbourne, Florida. Then I go to Waukegan, Illinois the next day. Genesee Theaters, Sunday, September 24th. 
But we are going to be before that, September 8th, Laugh Factory in Covina. We got two shows. That's a Friday, I believe. Friday, yes. yep. Then you That's and I are getting Friday. on a plane the next morning. Yep. We're going to Austin. Austin, doing Austin, Joe Texas. Rogan. The, we're doing the we're fight, do the fight campaign. campaign. You, me, Joe Sam Rogan. Tripoli. Sam, the great Sam Tripoli. The great Sam Trip. By the way, I, I got, uh, I just addressed it on the podcast, but uh, when I said that Ray Epps may not be a Fed, people got, you got a destroyed. little heated. Yeah, I mean, it's, have, did you yeah. look into it? I did, but he's going to be and charged You still don't think now. he's a Fed? Well, he's going to be charged by the Justice Department. Uh -huh. So they are going to bring charges against him. Yeah. What I was trying to say is that make sure you know that before you destroy someone's life. That's all. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. I don't follow it. It's a, again, it's like the Epstein thing. I don't follow it closely enough. If some people do a live show with it. Sam. Maybe look into it a tad, right? I look into it a little bit, but like, like just do some research. So yeah. you have points to argue on. No, we do. Yeah, that's why we, we, we had some good arguments. Yeah, we had some good arguments. Uh, so me and Brian Covina, California. That's Friday, September eighth. S September 9th. Fighter and Saturday. kid back together. Yep, back together. First time in a hot second. Mm -hmm. September 9th, we have the fight command with Sam Tripoli, Mr. Joe Rogan, Cal, and myself. Spokane, Washington, one of my favorite clubs, Spokane Comedy Club, September 21st, the 23rd. Then Brian Iron Skank Fest. I think we're doing stand up oh, there. We're also doing a live fire in the kid, I hear. Are we? Yep, I oh, think shit. so. All right. Then, uh, uh, do, how do you say it, Chen? Uh -huh. Dubuque. Dubuque, Iowa is October 13th through the 14th. Right now, one show Friday, one show Saturday. Niagara Falls, November 4th through the 5th. And then uh, those tickets just went on sale, so they update that when it's out on Friday. And then Chicago just recently added December 8th and 9th. Chicago Improv? Uh, no, I'm in downtown Chicago. Okay. Downtown Chicago. Go back for me, Chin. What? Oh, wow. Why'd they use that picture? Let me see that the picture. The comedy bar. Go back, Chin. Let me see that picture. That's great. Either way, <laughs> speaking of screeching halts, uh, Chicago is December 8th and 9th. That's Friday. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. But Spokane, Washington, you're up next. All right, kids. Love you. We're out.